Hello guys and welcome to Elite Prep HK. My name is Talha and I'm absolutely delighted to collect with you all as a dedicated educator. So uh, today we'll be looking at some of the important tips and tricks to score level 7 uh, in IB Chemistry uh, IA Internal Assessment. So this, this video is all about the simplified formatting and structure uh, of how to compose and how to write down your IA assessment. So without wasting any further time, let's get to the point. So the first thing you have to do whenever you are planning to write down your IA is to compose a proper title page. Your title page should contain the following piece of information, right? The first thing that it must contain is the title of the experiment, which is like very clear and specific. Right? For instance, if a student wants to investigate the effect of temperature on the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide, the title needs to be very much uh, pretty much clear on the top of the first page then you should be talking about your name and candidate number uh, then you should be writing subject and level date of submission and the word count now the one important thing that you have to keep in mind whenever you're writing the word count it, that it should not exceed 3000 words Right, so you have to keep your report, you have to keep your assessment comprehensive, which should be following each and every step. And make sure you make a checklist at the end of this so that everything has been covered and you can easily uh, map your progress. So the first the first thing you have to do whenever you're writing down your IA is to you, you need to include the purpose of experiment, a brief overview, what you are investigating, right, and why it's significant why like is it important then second thing is you have to show the relevance to the chemistry like how this experiment relates to the core concepts of chemistry okay for instance as with reference to the previous example as you can like talk about over here let's say it's a very good question that effect of effect of temperature on the rate of reaction Right, so so we'll be focusing on this hypothetical question, and we'll try to compose our IA based on this question. So, you should be talking about the main purpose of this experiment and its relevance to the chemistry, like how this is important in reaction kinetics and how it is important from industrial point of view, and what are its real life applications, etc. Right, proceeding further, the next thing you should include in your IA is the background information right and you should be writing it comprehensively and covering everything you should be like covering all the scientific context of this you should explain the theory behind the reaction including the collision theory catalyst temperature or other multiple factors which are impacting the rate of reaction and then you should also be mentioning the reaction equation as well right and make sure you include balanced equation in your ia then third thing the most important thing is the role of the variables right and we all know that there are three main types of variables that we write in our ia the first variable is going to be the independent variable independent sorry independent variable the one which you are changing that is the independent variable you can call it IV so which you are changing for instance if you're like changing temperature in the reaction so temperature will be your independent variable temperature right and then the next variable you'll be talking about is the dependent variable dependent variable which is your DV DV for instance you are measuring the rate of reaction so rate of reaction can be measured by collecting the volume of gas produced in that particular reaction so you can measure the volume of gas for instance or volume of gas produced with respect to time or you can write rate of reaction for instance like what is impact of temperature on the rate of reaction then there are multiple other things that you have to include in your variable that those fall under the category of control variable the one which you are controlling one you are like keeping constant uh, in order to see the impact of independent variable on the other variables then we have the third one control variable right now for instance if you are controlling temperature 
there are like multiple other factors which can impact your reactions uh, you know progress for instance you can talk about the concentration you can talk about the effect of catalyst you can talk about the surface area or the size of particles right etc so make sure you include at least five to six control variables and one most important piece of advice for all of you whoever are planning to write down their IAS make sure you specify how you are controlling how like how are you controlling it how are you controlling it and why are you controlling it right make sure you clearly state the reasons behind all these variables you will be talking about why are you controlling independent variable and how are you controlling this and and same goes for dependent variable and how are you controlling it right so these are the variables and then you have a very clear concise research question that defines your aim of IA for instance if a student wants to measure the effect of temperature on the hydrogen peroxide solution uh, which is like being catalyzed by magnesium oxide so reaction can be very well you know uh, it needs to be like very well very very well you know constructed very concise and very clear like how does temperature of hydrogen peroxide solution affect the rate of its decomposition catalyzed by magnesium oxide right the most important thing the next step in your IA should be your hypothesis right and do you know what is the quality of a good hypothesis it is testable it is testable right and your hypothesis must contain these three words and these three magical words are if then and because for instance if I need to compose a hypothesis for my investigation of the reaction that I'm talking about I will compose it like this if the temperature of a reaction is increased then the rate of reaction will also increase right and one thing I'm missing over here as you all can see that is because now because is entirely based on your scientific knowledge and your knowing and understanding of chemistry okay so because you have to give a proper reasoning right you have to give a proper reasoning for because right because temperature increases uh, or you can say if the temperature is increased the rate of reaction increases because there will be more collisions and the more fruitful collisions between the particles and uh, there will be more effective collisions between the particles or they will you know increase the rate of reaction there are more fruitful collisions between the particles right then the next thing you have to do as we have already discussed about the variables that independent variable a quick overview again independent variable what you will change dependent variable what you're going to measure for instance you are, you're measuring the volume of gas produced with respect to time so rate of reaction can be measured by collecting the volume of the gas okay and the control variable now control variables could be concentration right mass of catalyst etc right there are many other variables you can think of whenever you're writing so you can include this then the next thing is you should be including the methodology or procedure in your investigation right make sure you mention the list of materials that are needed and the apparatus that you need to do it you know you need to be specific about the precision and measurement of the apparatus that you are choosing for instance if you like choosing measuring cylinder make sure you specify that 50 ml of measuring cylinder or 50 cubic centimeter of gas syringe is being used you have to mention step by step procedure details each step in your experiment and you need to include the safety precautions or risk risk measurements right for example uh, if you're like dealing with fire so you should include that wear gloves so that your hands might not get burned 
you if you like using any uh, you know harmful chemical so make sure you like uh you, you know that you have to you know stay away from that chemical and if it is like toxic you should not consume it uh you know at in any form either in the fumes or in any other form right so you need to be like very like wear gloves wear goggles safety goggles wear mask etc so you need to add all the safety precautions step by step then the most important thing is you need to include the diagrams of your experimental setup you know ib examiners look for the work which is done by the students themselves okay so make sure whenever you're like doing it so make sure you include experimental setup images and your diagrams as well right and then the data collection now data whenever you're like collecting a data make sure you take trials multiple trials let's say you took trial one and in trial one um, you collected 40 cubic centimeter of gas right in trial two trial 2 you collected 30 cubic centimeter of gas in trial 3 right you collected let's say 45 cubic centimeter of gas so you have to take multiple trials of your investigation right by changing different temperature for instance if you carried out a reaction at 30 degrees Celsius right so in the first trial you took 40 cubic centimeter of gas was produced in the second trial 30 in the third trial 45 right so uh, this gives you a very clear picture that if I'm taking the trial there can be a human error there can be other, any other error and I need to eradicate that error and at the end you will take the average or mean of your results and that falls under the category of the processing of data right so uh, this this unorganized data when whenever you collect the data that is like unorganized or randomly arranged that is called as raw data raw data and you need to process it by applying mean and standard deviation standard deviation to convert it into processed data right so the data collection is very important step and here is you need to include the raw data in the table and make sure you include all the recorded values for instance time intervals and the oxygen volume then units and uncertainties ensure all the measurements have units and uncertainties then trial numbers right make sure you add multiple trials as I've just quoted multiple trials need to be added proceeding further then you have to process your data right so make sure you include the average values the you know the mean values right and standard deviation right of the data and then the most important step is to you know to to add a graphical representation in your IA right you need to add a for, for instance like qualitative data right like the color change or any other thing like that so qualitative data in which you're talking about the quality like color like smell etc so qualitative data so you should be using a bar graph right but if you have a quantitative data which can be like measured in numbers quantitative data so you need to plot a scatter plot graph scatter plot graph for that okay so so there's a brief difference between quantitative and qualitative data so whenever you have a quantitative data it is a numerical data it can be like measured or counted it's it answers question like how much how many or how often for instance temperature time and volume and when you have like qualitative data so this answers the question a type of how does like it, it feels okay so observations like bubbles formed color change or a clear brown solution smells like pungent odor or no smell texture changes like powder dissolved completely etc right so this is a brief difference between a qualitative and a quantitative data I hope you guys already know this right and then one most important thing whenever like you're doing all the steps making a checklist make sure you add this point as well 
that my experiment collects both quantitative data such as the volume of gas produced and the qualitative data right uh, you do not need to add this point if your experiment does not contain any kind of qualitative data right but in most of the cases in most of the IEA topics I have you know reviewed multiple IEAs uh, the student mentioned that the the data must contain a quantitative data right and this is this this you know this can be measured in numbers this can be measured you know in numbers so you can like process it and this is more accurate right more accurate data right and then you have to like include uh, the data processing table and a suitable graph make sure you add a suitable graph you can use Microsoft Excel for plotting graphs and for calculating the standard deviation right so you can easily you know just put the values there and you will get it done and then we have an analysis uh, what to include in analysis technically this is the most crucial part right so you need to make your IA more catchy uh, you know uh, more uh, you know which catches readers attention and interest and it shows it reflects your knowing and understanding of the scientific knowledge it, it reflects your core concepts of chemistry or if you're like writing bi for biology or for physics whatever you're writing so it should reflect that how much how well you know about that right and this analysis gives you an overall you know insight that what your graph shows uh, an exponential increase in the rate of reaction with temperature for instance and you have to link it to the theory right link it to the theory just recall what you have written on the hypothesis section and explain how your results align with the Cullian theory and the Arrhenius equation for instance right and make sure you need to you know add this analysis portion and evaluation right so technical evaluation you should be talking about the strengths and limitations of your IA and how you could have improved your IA right for instance if you like carry out an experiment in future how you will like improve your experiment for instance if in order to control the temperature you could have like used thermostat water bath for better temperature control or like how how you could have like improved like minor temperature fluctuations or there are like human human errors whenever we you know measure multiple things so you need to be very much specific uh, about writing down your strengths and weaknesses then proceeding further the most important section is conclusion section right make sure you answer your research question and summarize whether the data supports your hypothesis or not right so highlight the relationship between temperature and the reaction rate and you know make sure you mention everything and at the end you have to write down references right and styling should be APA or MLA right so references you know re you know reflect uh, from where you have like collected all the data you can talk about the multiple resources you can talk about the websites or the books scientific journals scientific articles or multiple things like that okay so if you really want to do your IA or you want to write down your IA so you can book a free trial lesson with us so I'll see you in the trial lesson thank you very much take very good care of yourself bye bye